What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about the process of resampling and how to quickly get audio into your own sample pack rather than probably most ways people are doing it. So I want to show you this way versus the normal way, and you guys can kind of see what you like best, I guess. Uh, if you didn't know, though, um, I'm actually going to be playing at Exchange LA on October 21st, and I will be supporting the muscle boy himself, Kaiwachi. Uh, heritage and black sheep so really cool um that being said i'm sorry for the lack of youtube content i'm just super busy right now prepping for the show I'm really putting a lot of work into this uh getting a lot of songs done so i apologize if my schedule is slightly shifted and the content has not been as in depth so coming down the pipeline we still have the protohype interview coming up it's all finished bundled i gotta send it to max and just get the okay from him and then I have the resampling video that just needs to be edited. I thought I was going to be able to get to it this weekend, but I want to make sure it's edited right. And you guys can understand all three processes that I explained in the video. So I didn't want to rush it. So we're doing this. OK. All right. Let's get into the video. OK, so these are just some audio samples of some stuff I took real quick. I'll go through it. They're kind of loud. Okay, so just some different sounds here. So what you can do is traditionally, what most people would do is they would do this, solo it, and then export it, right? And then you put it in your sample pack folder. But you don't even have to export anything. All you have to do is click on this, right? I already named this, for example, so we find it. So you click on the thing down here, and it'll come up and you're frozen. For example, consolidate this. So as I'm editing this, I figured out my head is literally in the way of where the camera sits. So I'm going to scoot myself over real quick, and I'm going to show you exactly what we're doing here. OK, so whenever I double clicking on this, you'll see here, I'll zoom in, there is the name and then there's this little thing that's underlined here and this is what i'm clicking to get the resampled and all these you go here you see the little underline click it, it has its name um, and these are just recorded once again if you consolidate it and then it in the consolidate folder now because we control j it or command j and now we'll rename it waka walk and <laughs> there you go d sharp bass loop and now it'll be called that down here. You can see. So my head covers this during the whole video. Uh, I didn't see the overlay, but just to show you guys what I'm clicking, it's right here. All right, back to the video. And then I'm going to click on it. Double click. Boom. And we'll call this dog barks. I always like to put the D in because it's just good to know. Now this is dog barks. And this is going to be squelch chug. So now we'll go right there. Perfect. Next thing you need to have is your sample pack folder on your sidebar. So I have mine right here and I have new base sample pack, which I made just for this. So what you can do is literally go back to here, here, and you can control drag Add that. Once again, I show you, you can see only one files in there. I'll go to dog bark, control drag. Sample pack. Boom. And now I can just start doing this really quick. And I think this is faster than exporting, typing in the name, waiting for it to export and going in. Um, I think it's just less UI you have to deal with. And I think it's just quicker. And well, growl, beesh. Again, control drag, sample pack. Boom. This is a really simple way of doing it. And when I like to use this, I mean, you can use it any time. But for me, normally I don't export a lot of my bases till like the end of the track. And that's why I started doing here is just started linearly going across and I'll go through and export all these bases out um, that I may want to use in the future. And then you'll see from just like one track, you'll probably have like 10 to 30 base one shots. And that really snowballs really quickly because then a month you're probably going to have like over 100 new samples. 
and you can just keep recycling. Make your own drums. It doesn't have to be just basses. Like you can apply it to everything. So I hope this technique is useful for you guys. And I hope you learned something. Uh, if you're not subscribed and you want to learn more YouTube stuff, especially Ableton and dubstep related, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to be at Exchange LA for Kai Watch Show, pull up to my set. So that's it. Peace. Have a great day.